Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bajewski YouTube channel. No, I haven't had a shave because I've been so excited about my uh, new book, Diary of an Accidental Psychic Part 2. It's a beautiful day today, working very, very hard. The sun has just come out this morning actually. Um, it came out about 30 seconds ago. There's many people walking up and down here in uh, Maya. But when I woke up in the morning, I thought, what a beautiful sight. And we often are given and shown amazing signs that most of us just don't pay attention to because we're too busy with life, with work, with paying our mortgage, with fighting, with arguing, with the separation of people, you know, religion and all of those things. So it's really challenging, right? But I'm being blessed these past few months that I decided to break free from all of that. And you might say, well, you can't because you have to be involved in all that. Well, you can. And, uh, if you want to be involved in all of that nonsense, then you're involved in it. But if you decide to walk away from that and say no more, you find that your life changes and then you're able to see the bigger picture. Things that are so profound that help you change your life and how you live your life and bring in peace and happiness and balance into your life. So yeah, I get up this morning after having some extremely vivid dreams. I wonder why, what did I leave on last night? by Moldavite. So I had these vivid dreams, which now I'm starting to understand more and more. Um, dreams are becoming really interesting to me because they're, they're part of a message from spirit that try and help us along a journey as well as whatever we're doing when we're asleep. That's another story. So when I woke up, I opened the door uh, of my humble house and uh, there's rice fields all around. And I see um, one, two, three, four ladies all doing blessings for the crop, which is rice. Uh, they're about to cut it now, but they were still doing their blessing with their flour and they do this with their water. And I thought to myself at that particular moment, if I did that in Spain, like I do, do blessings in my academy, I am known as the crazy man, the weird man. Um, I'm being called Puff, um, all sorts of different horrible names by locals and expats that, you know, they really can be horrific um, with, their, with their words and um, their really boring lives that they have to create things to hurt other people. That's what people do when they're not satisfied with their life. They have to then um, pull everything else down around them. That's something you have to get used to. So as I'm doing a blessing in the academy outside and people are calling me all sorts thinking I'm crazy, I'm, I'm, I'm outside now uh, looking at these ladies with a big smile on my face, watching them doing the blessing, thinking, do you know what? I'm so at home here. This is me. Because when I came out of the house there doing uh, a little bit of cleansing in that house, uh, you know, somebody saw me doing it and they smiled. So it was like, you know what? It made me realize something so profound. It made me realize, and I've said this to you before again, guys, if you're in a situation, if you're in a place where everything seems to be like you're fighting, you're arguing, nothing seems right, it's probably because you're in the wrong place or you're with the wrong company. So what I realized is that over these past two years, three years, I have worked really hard to create my own life being the life that I am and what feels right to me. So what I've tended to do now is I avoid people who are not of similar energy of me. I don't need to get into conflict with people to try and prove anything anymore. That's where the darkness pulls you in. So now you're seeing on social media people fighting, screaming, and crying out the loudest they can be to tell people how right they are. And ego and love and all of those things combined, people really trying to share messages. There's so much fighting. I, I saw it this morning, two women fighting on uh, Health Nut News um, about a millionaire dying and the, the difference of one person to the other saying, well, I met him, he was a wonderful man and kind to my children. And the lady said, you're crazy. The guy is a, a lunatic, da, da, da. he's a psychopath. And, and I saw all this. And then before they started, then they started verbally abusing each other. And I looked at this and I shook my head and I, I thought, you know what? I am so glad I'm out of that. I'm over that pain and suffering of having to 
defend who I am, what I am, and where I am. So I guess the message today for everybody here is, if you're fighting with family, if you're fighting with friends, if you're in a place where you feel down, depressed, if you're working somewhere where it just doesn't feel right, and your feelings are of depression, sadness, lost, empty, then the only thing you can do, because nobody else will help you with this, the only thing you can do is make a decision today to say, I have to change my environment and my friends and my family to create my, um, well, you could, I used to call it my pink uh, fluffy cloud. I used to sit on it and people used to laugh and say, oh, you know, you're pink, you can't change, you don't change the world. You, you know, being nice and sending love to people. That's another cop out where people try and pull you into their fear, negativity and um, damn right nastiness of being hateful. You know, so you see, actually, when you meet good people, they say, wow, that's beautiful. You say such lovely things. You're so kind. It's always about meeting the right people and being surrounding yourself with the right people people who are of understanding of your understanding people who feel you and and just admire or appreciate you like i admire and appreciate the select few people that i have in my life i don't fight no more i don't i may put things out there but i don't focus on them i let them go people may say well mark you've done lots of videos where you've said you're upset because somebody said that actually if you know anything about me i do that as a reverse psychology to make people who also feel bad about those situations feel better but no i don't get affected because i don't allow that in my life i don't look at negative messages anymore i don't talk to family who are negative and try to pull me down and say awful things and believe that I'm an awful person. I don't surround myself with friends who say negative things anymore. I keep myself to myself more and now I, I walk a path where I feel healthy, happy, energized and anything that causes me stress or worry, I am now in that energy mode to be able to see it i am now aware because my power is my intuition right that's your power did you know that your power is your intuition intuition can only be there when you're fully balanced on all levels of your being health um happiness emotion all of the states of spirituality as well that gives you and and that shows you the signs that gives you the information you can't have it when you're in confrontation with people when you're battling with people when you're sad when you're upset when you're in heartbreak when you all of those awful feelings that i'm in a wrong job i'm in a wrong relationship i'm in a wrong place my family treat me bad you can't be at your greatest power your intuition isn't kicking in because your feelings of sadness pain suffering depression which isn't depression but all of those feelings that make you feel depressed those are the absolute um, energies that stop you from being the greatest person that you are so I realized that I had no choice I can't live like this anymore so I had to let it go and you know what it's the hardest thing in the world to let go of what you've been programmed to believe it really is but once you let go of it it's amazing then you look back and think why didn't I do that sooner why didn't I do that sooner at the end of the day guys it doesn't matter who you walk away from what, what you change in your life what job what partnership you walk away life goes on life goes on you don't make that much of a difference Honestly, you don't. I don't. But at the end of the day, if I'm feeling better and happy and stronger, then now I am making a difference because before I was making no difference. I was just causing pain and suffering to everybody around me. They were causing pain and suffering around me. So like many beautiful sages in this world, they had to leave their family, their homes to find themselves. The Buddha, Jesus, if you believe in him, and many other people went on sacred journeys to find themselves. And I think that's the message today. We have to make um, a commitment to ourself. Um, it's not a sacrifice, it really isn't. It's a necessity for you now to find your inner happiness and peace. There is no other way because the people around you won't change. The only pe person who can change is you. And the only way you can make that change is to walk away from situations, from um, jobs, from people, from everything uh, where you are to be able to create a new life of happiness. I did it. I did it. You can do it. 
So make the change today. You don't have to just say, okay, that's it, what Mark says, I'm, I'm throwing the towel in, I'm giving up and I'm just leaving. That's not what I'm saying. Small steps, simple steps, and watch how your life becomes stronger. So turn away from negativity. Don't look at negative things on social media. Don't be pulled into conversations where they are worthless and useless and draining your energy. Send good messages out there of love. Don't focus on the negative around you. Don't let people drain you, pull you down. Don't let people tell you that you're not a good person. Don't let people tell you that you can't do anything and it's very hard and life is difficult. Keep away from them and keep repeating to yourself, life is beautiful, life is powerful. I can create whatever I want and I will create what I want. And today is the first day of the rest of my life and right now where I am is where I'm meant to be, but where I'm going is exactly where I'm gonna be taken to in a positive and an amazing new journey of life that will bring miracles, joy, happiness, and the abundance of everything that my heart desires. Spiritual awareness only comes when you let go of the fears of everybody around you and within you. That is my message today. Have a beautiful day from Ubud. I am living proof that you can change your life, okay? Really I am, and today it's your moment. And I love you with all my heart. Thank you for watching all the videos and taking whatever you need. Yes, there are many videos that I've made on here that you've probably disagree with and don't believe, and, and that's fine, it's okay. We are, we are allowed to have our opinion. We are allowed to have our thoughts and feelings. Everything changes. What I used to believe 15 years ago is not what I believe now. So, you know, it's okay. I may sound crazy on some of the videos and that's okay as well. I am crazy and I love being crazy. And you know what? I'm never always right. In fact, I'm wrong a lot of the times, but it's my truth at that given moment. And what's right and what's wrong is different from every single person. So there is really no right or wrong with anything. So if I say to you, this is this is what it is, and you say, no, it isn't, then it's because it's your truth. But then the next person would say, yes, it's true. I will experience that. So I realized very quickly that you're never gonna be right. You're never gonna be wrong. You're always gonna be what you're gonna be. So don't be frightened of sharing your truth with love, but don't get upset, don't fight. Just allow it to be and accept people's paths of rights or wrongs to be what they are. But don't be pulled down. Don't feel bad about those moments. Let them go and shine your light and be the best you can be. That's all you can do. I don't do miracles, but I do my best. Have a great day, guys, from my heart to yours. Thank you once again for going to markbayeski.com and buying your pure energy healing crystals that I worked with personally for the past 15 years. I hope you enjoy the energy as much as I love working with them. Okay guys, take care. Bye.